why are we doing this? It's so much hassle. Hey guys, what's up? It's the WordPress doctor here. And in this video, we will be reviewing a service called Transferito. Now they make some bold claims on their website. So we're gonna check it out if those are true. Quickest and easiest WordPress migration tool on the planet. Are you sure? Quick and easiest on the entire planet? Hmm. We developed the best WordPress migration plugin to help you take the hassle out of safely and securely transferring your files between servers. Transferito is a cloud-based WordPress migration tool allowing you to transfer full WordPress installation at the click of a button. That is really promising. So this should be really easy, barely an inconvenience. And they say we can migrate our website within seconds. Well, we'll see about that if I'm trying to transfer a 37 gigabyte website. So the first thing I notice when I go to pricing is they are using pounds. It's because it's a UK based uh, company. I think it would be way better to show me dollars because I don't know how much this is. I have to copy this one for one transfer is 15 pounds sterling equals 2135 United States dollars. So it is approximately $22 to transfer my website with one time. Well, <laughs> well, if they charge $22, then it should be really fast and really good and transfer my 8 gig website in just a matter of seconds. Well, I don't think that's possible, but we will see. So what do I get for this 15 pounds or $22? I get one transfer, one terabyte, that is a thousand gigabyte. If you have a thousand gigabyte of websites, then this would be a really good system, I think. One domain, one user, one safe detail, direct desktop transfer, concurrent transfer, and of course support. But what are concurrent transfers are, you can transfer three or four websites at the same time. When I have this account for three pounds a month or roughly for a little bit more than four dollars a month, I can have unlimited transfer and a 10 terabytes transfer size limit and I can do unlimited desktop, direct desktop transfer and I can use them simultaneously with concurrent transfers. So just to be clear guys, for this money to have, I would say I am a agency and I would use this pack for my personal business with transferring all my website clients. As now, what I now used to do this is my video I created about how to transfer a WordPress website for completely free. And it works, install the plugin, download the file, install a plugin on your new website, upload the file, and that's it. It is really easy. You don't have to fill out any credentials or databases or stuff. The only thing you need is a old WordPress installation and a new WordPress installation. It's that easy. If I'm gonna pay five pounds a month or seven, roughly seven dollars a month, it has to be really, really, really super easy to justify that money spent. Because seven dollars a month adds up to $84 a year for just transferring websites. It has to be really fast. We're gonna test this out with Amusement Parks USA.com, which is a very big website. All right, I want the one-off payment and I want to, to buy now. So we can just fill this, fill this all in and then we can pay the 15 pounds or the $22 and then we are up and running. Let's see how that works. So just to give you a very quick overview, this website has 5,087 posts. Well, they're actually rides from different amusement parks in the entire USA and they have 148 pages. And also the media library is huge. We have 55, 148 items to be transferred to the other place. So we're gonna see how that works. First of all, we go to plugins. We're going to add the Transferito plugin. When I pay $22, it has to be super convenient, super easy. So we're gonna add Transferito right there. Here it is, WordPress migration. Let's install it up. And I'm gonna press activate. Let's see what happens. This is a live website, so I'm a bit worried. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. All right, so the plugin is ap activated. Then we go on the left side, we have Transferito. And we're gonna create transfer. 
We're just checking the size of your website, WPress. Where our website is 37.46 gigabyte, which is larger than our one gig size limit. So we go to settings right here. And we're going to add our API keys. When you buy the service, you get API keys. You can enter them right here. We can enter them and press save. And now our API keys has been entered and we can go back to create transfer. Well, let's start a migration method. Select this option if you want to manually enter your FTP and database details. Select this option to automatically install using cPanel. All right, first of all, I am paying to do a migration and I have to add my own FTP and database credentials? What? Or cPanel? I... All right, let me show you what's happening right now. This website does not run on cPanel. This website run on, runs on a different system. So I can't use cPanel. And well, the only option they give me is use FTP and database details. Right, so what, what will happen right now? Migrate using your FTP. Oh, they have, they have actually a video how to do this. Oh, this is not what I expected. They can do better than this. What do we have to do? Selected folders, only transfer these selected folders to your new server. No, I want everything. Our destination FTP, oh really? I have to enter my FTP credentials so they can upload it. Oh, oh, this is totally not what I expected. If I pay $22 or if I'm an agency, I pay $7 a month, then I don't want to have to enter my FTP details. Oh, why? So just for you guys, are we going to set this up and see how this works? But I am not enthusiastic about this way because it's way they can really improve this. This is there has to be an option to just install this plugin on the new website and then you can just press one button, add a key and then press another button and then it starts to migrate. Why are we doing this? It's so much hassle and they say it was the easiest way and hassle free. I don't agree, Transferito. But just for you guys, we are going to add our FTP data details to see how this works. I found all the stuff that we need to find and I added it right there. Don't try to use it yourself because I all deleted after this tutorial. So was this easy to do? No, it was a lot of hassle. Why? I had to create a FTP account and an FTP user especially for this new website. Then I had to create a password and I had to copy and paste everything else down here. And then I also needed to create a new database with a new database username and with a new database password. Was it hassle free? No, not at all. So for this $22, I still need to do a lot of things myself. However, we're gonna test it right now. So I've put in all the FTP details and all the things and we press validate FTP details. Now you don't have to wait right here for something because nothing will happen right here. It is below here where things happen. When I press this button, as you can see, it will connect to my FTP and here I can select the directory public HTML. And it's empty because I created an empty site, especially for this, it is this website. And as you can see, when I visited, this is what we see right now. It is a HTML file created by SiteGround itself for a temporary page. All right, we're gonna select this directory, push that button, start migration. But first we're gonna press this button so then we know how long it exactly takes for the migration to do its work. Well, it's gonna create a backup right now and it's gonna take a couple of minutes. Well, they say that's the fastest way to transfer. What? There has been an issue. Unable to backup a part of your database. Why? Why, why, why? Now, this is something I don't wanna see if I pay $22 for my transfer. What on earth is going on?
I talked to the support of Transferito and they told me it has something to do with that my caching system is caching a JavaScript file from their end. Well, this is something they could have already fixed because I'm using WP Rocket, which is the industry standard for premium caching solutions. And I think they're doing a really good job. And we just go to file optimization right there. We go all the way down and here we can exclude JavaScript files. And we're going to exclude transferito.javascript. We're gonna save this. Then we go to WP Rock, we're gonna clear the cache. And we're also, just to be sure, we're gonna clear the Cloudflare cache also, because this website's running through Cloudflare. Well, I'm gonna make a different tutorial about that one. It's gonna make your site even more faster. And it's safe from DDoS attacks and it's well it's a lot of things that's really working for you all right so it should be working right now let's test it out we go to transfer it create transfer and I'm going to fill in again all these details because it wasn't saved so now we're gonna press this button start migration and we're gonna see what's going to happen we're gonna set up the timer because we do want to know if this works right now and how fast this will go. Well, so far so good. I hope it will pass the 22 seconds mark because last time it broke on there. So it actually seems to work right now. Hmm. So we're just going to see in the back end what actually is happening on the back side of this website. So while this thing is running, let me show on the back end what it's actually doing. It's creating an extra file called Transferito on my public HTML. And, and they are creating a zip file with my entire WordPress installation. Look at this. That zip and it's already 1.15 gigabytes. That basically means that you need a lot of space on your web host if you want to transfer your own website. Fortunately, I have unlimited space on this server, so I could do this. But if you're going to use Transferito and you have a limited amount of space, this is something to keep in mind. <laughs> So 10 minutes has passed now, we're gonna see what is happening. Actually, nothing really more. If I refresh this page, I still see 1.15 gigabytes being zipped. Hmm. Let us see on the new server if something has changed on the new domain. When I go to public HTML, there is actually nothing going on till so far with the Transferito plugin. So after 10 minutes, the we whole website hasn't been packed in and it hasn't been sent over. Well, maybe because it's 37 gigs, so it's gonna take a lot of time. We'll see about that. So guys, 15 minutes has passed now since we started the migration. You know what they could improve? Something like percentage signs or anything, because there is actually nothing on this page that shows me or tells me how far we are in the process. And this really gives some people, like me, people like to control everything, a little bit of anxiety because it looks like it has just crashed. Nothing is happening. And if you see my other tutorial about moving websites up to 10 gig for completely free, you will see that they have percentage shines dialing up and you'll see exactly what is going on within the plugin. So Transferito, that is something you could really improve. Unless you, of course, say, well, we just transfer websites within 45 seconds, so this is really shouldn't be an issue. Well, no, but if someone pays $22 for your service, then I think they only will use it if they have really big websites that they can't transfer with anything else. So in that case, if you're moving big websites, it's gonna take way longer than 45 seconds as we're already at 16 minutes. So you should really have something that shows me where we are in the process, how it's going, and if we're still on track. Just a free tip right there. So guys, it has been 20 minutes right now. And actually, when you look at this, it seems that nothing is happening. If I refresh this page, it's still 1.15 gigabytes. 
I really don't think anything is happening. So, well, let's just give them a few hours because 37 gigabytes is is an awful lot. So, we're gonna see about this, right? All right, guys, you won't believe this. It is still running after five hours. I started this morning and it's later this this day and come on this is just ridiculous so i'm gonna stop this one and we're going to try to transfer one from the main domain to go to a subdomain i mean i could literally clone it myself using a using my hosting tools or i'm just gonna try it and if that also doesn't work well then transfer it is just off my list but let's try the other one because i want to see if it works so real quick, gonna activate the Transferito plugin again on the new website and glyconutritionshop.com. We're going to clear the cache. Talking about cache, we need of course to exclude this file. And then we're gonna add our API keys. I hope they still work. All right, then we're going, going to create a transfer. And we're gonna use the FTP de details again. FTP data works. Let's use public HTML, select this directory, the destination server. And now I'm gonna press start migration again. And we're gonna see how fast this one goes this time. All right, fire it up. Let's see what is going to happen. This time we have we are using the same server from the main website to the subdomain that I'm testing on. So that really shouldn't be any troubles at all right now. But we're gonna see what happens. Wait, what? Not again? There has been an issue processing your migration? Why? What what is going on here? Oh, so frustrating. All right, let's turn off WP Rocket at all. Maybe we can clear a bad gateway. What? It is now actually creating an error. It is crashing my website. Why? I have never encountered this before with my other transfer plugins. Why is this so hard and difficult? Why is this happening? Of course, we have to do it again. All right, let's just let's just deactivate WP Rocket, and we're going to Transferito. We're going to use this one again. Trust me, this this is the last time I'm gonna try this. It is just so frustrating. I'm with this all day. It it cannot be this hard. I mean. What am I? Am I doing something wrong or anything? I, I, I just don't understand. Am I? Maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know, guys. Come on. This is not supposed to be this hard. How can you ever sell such a service for this price when it's just so hard and it's not working at all? We're going to try it again without WP. Without WP Rocket. What? You know what? I had it. I have enough. It is. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can just how you can just transfer your website in just five minutes because it's not that hard. Trust me. Just go to plugins, add new plugin, download your plugin from my video. Just press install now, and now it's going to install. We're going to activate it. It's that easy. Then you go to all in one. You press export. Then you go export to file and here we go it is just working and no errors and no migration problems i mean how hard can this be transferito it's here it, it's even a website of 273 megabytes it's not that hard so guys this is not a happy ending of this video because it's it's a really frustrating process and i just had it i I'm, I'm knocking off i i'm giving up because if something that I pay for is this hard, then I cannot recommend it to you guys. So please stick to my other video because it's way more easier. Transferito guys, if you want another chance, that's okay. But you have to fix a lot of things. And after that, you can contact me and I will test it again. But I'm not going to wait again five hours for a transfer to complete. I mean, 
show me something that I know it's working. It's not now, it's still 1.15 gigabytes. Oh, how can they make a living? You know what? I had it. See you later, guys. Come on, man. Unbelievable.